Hey guys, this is Dr. Joel with Metamersion. You are watching a mini lecture in the Flash Flood Review Series, where I review the most important topics for your board exams in as little time as possible. Okay, let's get started. In this lecture, I'm going to be talking about three different studies, the case control study, the cohort study, and the cross-sectional study. All right, starting off with case control studies. And for this example, I'm going to use two groups of people. The first group of people, the red group of people, are the cases. And those are the people that have a disease. In this case, I'm going to say it's skin cancer. The people on the bottom, or the second group, the green people, are those people that do not have the disease. These are the controls. Because of this naming, you can see why it makes sense to call this a case control study. So basically, this is a type of retrospective study, meaning that we're looking backwards in time. We already know who has cancer and who doesn't have cancer, and we've already put them into groups. So we're looking backwards in time, retrospectively, to see why one group has a disease and one group doesn't. So, in this case, we're comparing the subjects who have the disease, the cases, with those who do not have the disease, the controls. And we're asking ourselves, what happened? What was different? Why does the first group have skin cancer and the second group not have skin cancer? And we can make a hypothesis, like, we can say, well, I think that the group with skin cancer had excessive exposure to the sun when they were young. And we look backwards in time, and sure enough, we see that, yes, they did have a higher exposure to the sun. A case control study is good for giving us the odds ratio, which is the odds of getting a disease after exposure divided by the odds of getting that same disease without exposure. So you need to understand that the top group in red, not necessarily all of them did have excessive sun exposure as a youth. Some of them just got cancer. It just happened. Likewise, the people in the green group, some of them may have had excessive sun exposure as a youth. But really what we're looking at is the odds. Are the odds increased to get cancer when you have excessive sun exposure? And the answer in this case is yes. Your odds are higher. Okay? Now into the cohort study. A cohort study is a type of prospective study. Basically, we're looking into the future now, in which we take two groups of subjects with unknown outcomes. And of course, that makes sense because the future hasn't happened yet, right? We're looking into the future. We don't know what's going to happen. But we're comparing these two groups based on what we suppose is going to be a causal factor. So you can see there's two groups here. We know that one of these groups has sun exposure and the other group doesn't. We're asking ourselves, what will happen in the future? What is going to happen to these two groups of people in 20 years? A cohort study is good for measuring the relative risk, which is the ratio of um, two probabilities. The probability of a disease occurring in an exposed group divided by the probability of the disease occurring in a non-exposed group. So, how is the relative risk different than the odds ratio? Well, with the odds ratio, we're comparing two groups of people with known disease. For the relative risk, we're comparing two groups with known exposure. So, having an exposure doesn't guarantee that you're going to get the disease. Likewise, having the disease doesn't guarantee that you had the exposure. So relative risk is kind of saying, what's the risk of getting the disease based on having a lot of sun when you're a child? And the odds ratio is, what are the odds that all that sun exposure is going to cause a disease later on or contribute to a disease later on? Okay? Lastly is the cross-sectional study. This is a study that analyzes data from a population of people or whatever you're studying at one point in time, right? We're not looking forward in time. We're not looking backward in time. We're looking right now. What's happening right now? Thus, it's across the current section of time or it's across sectional data. And it asks the question, not to be too repetitive, what is happening? 
And cross-sectional studies are good at measuring the disease prevalence, which is the proportion of a population found to have a condition uh, at a given point in time. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. Um, if you did, give me a like, subscribe, stay in touch, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. And last of all, good luck in school. Hang in there.